All right, welcome to Quick Show. My name is Greg Matson, and I am your host. In this episode, we are covering the principle that I call Talos versus the oppressors. This is, I barely went into this a little bit on the critical social justice presentation, Christianity and the Family, that I did recently up in Utah in both Provo and Salt Lake. This July 1st, so tomorrow, there will be new tools that will be available on a new page on the website on quickmedia.com. This new page is social justice, and it will have, starting off there on July 1st, PDFs, one or two starting beat PDFs, that will go over these principles and tools that will show you how to distinguish between what you know is true, uh, principles that you know are, are of truth, and that you live by, and what critical social justice offers on the opposite end of those. This is one of those principles of Talos versus the oppressors. Now, let me explain what Talos is. If you go to dictionary.com, it, it is basically an end. It is a purpose. It is a goal. It says the end term of a goal-directed process. This is about you. What is your goal, and how does it fit within the context of the plan of salvation? right? Especially the Aristotelian final cause. So this comes from Aristotle. He used the term telos in Greek. It's the final cause. What is your purpose? Your raison d'etre, right? Or by Cicero, who stated, it is the supreme end of man's endeavor. So we're going to make a distinction here between the plan of salvation and your purpose as a child of God and, and what the purpose of mortality is versus what critical social justice says, right? What the woke religion or the religion of academia says is your raison d'etre, which is your, your purpose. And this is how you want to look at this. There is adversity in the world. We understand in the gospel how to contextualize both suffering and then also our adversary, adversity, everything that's going to be uh, unjust. We know the world is unjust. We know there are systems that are unjust. We know there are men and women that are inju- uh, unjust. And how do we handle that? How do we contextualize all of this? Um, what do we put, here's the key, what do we put in our values hierarchy in terms of what is the most important thing? Do we see the world where the problem of the world, meaning really it's the purpose, it's the entire reason for God, right? The purpose of God is to bring to pass the immortality and eternal life of man. That is telos. On the opposite end of the spectrum is social justice, which is going to say the purpose of your being And therefore, the purpose of God would be to throw off the oppressors. And here's how you look at the issue here. Talos says the problem is how you are going to be redeemed as a fallen man or woman. And that comes from the grace of God and from your own works, belief, faith, and repentance. Notice how those are individual. It's your faith in Christ, and in the sacrificial atonement. And it is your repentance, your correcting yourself. Yes, your behavior, your character, your being, what you're becoming. This is telos. We see the same thing in the temple. Telos is moving toward that end, that goal. Call it the veil. You're going through a process. We talk about that a lot as the royal procession where you're growing from phase to phase until you're getting to this end uh, state. As Cicero says again, supreme end of man's endeavor. Critical social justice says, no, the problem isn't with you, the fallen man or woman. The problem is always out there. Your personal responsibility is minimal to non-existent because the problem is always in the systems. The problem is always with the oppressors. The problem, therefore, we can throw off of our own shoulders and put it on to other fallen men and women. See, we're all fallen together, but if I can throw that onto the shoulders of other fallen men and women, 
then I don't need to take the personal responsibility for it. I don't need to worry about my own sacrifice and how I sacrifice to grow and to learn and to love others. I don't need to worry about repentance because I don't have the problem. My lived experience, my, my own truth is the way I am expressing myself. I am expressing this identity that I feel. And therefore, anything that holds me back from that, whether or not it's sinful or not, is from the systems and from other fallen men and women who create an unjust society and oppress my liberation of identity, my sexual liberation, my identity liberation, uh, my liberation over all of those systems and all of those fallen men and women. So that is how you look at that. And it's a really important principle to understand because... We know with the plan of salvation that telos is what we strive for. It is A number one. That is the purpose of God, right? To bring to pass the immortality and eternal life of man. It is not to throw off the oppressors. And yet, if we look at critical social justice or or bring the critical social justice or religion of academia into Uh, Christianity, what we get is liberation theology, which is the same thing. Christ then ends up up representing how he's going to fight off all of the oppressors, right? And it's moved, the story of Christ has moved from uh, sacrificing himself through love and lowering himself below you and me to pay for our sins that we would be able to repent and have our telos moves it from there to throwing off the oppressors of the elite Jews and of the Romans, and that his resurrection actually represents a triumph over those oppressors that were killing him, not about your spirituality. So it moves it very much from a spiritual realm of telos to a temporal carnal realm of politics and a political messiah and the oppressors that are over us. You can see this strong distinction between the gospel of Jesus Christ and those tenets that would be Marxian, right? Marxian tenets. The Marxian tenets are ones that will try to liberate, try to throw off the oppressors. And here's the key thing here, that values hierarchy. It doesn't mean that there aren't oppressors. It doesn't mean that there aren't fallen men and women that are unjust, that are cruel, draconian, right? But that is secondary. And, and this is how lies always fit into things. When we get the woke world in here, the lie that is brought in is that everything is about the oppressors. Now, that is an issue. It's not like the Lord doesn't want us to throw off the oppressors. It's not like the Lord doesn't want us to, to be safe and to live in a world that builds more towards Zion. But the Zion is built from inside of our hearts, one heart and one mind, right? That's where it's got to start. Not fixing others first, but fixing ourselves first. So again, the distinction there, where does the problem lie? Where therefore is the purpose? It is within ourselves to make those changes, to grow and to learn, to to grow by faith and repentance. You're not going to find internally personal faith and repentance in critical social justice. You're going to find the opposite. You're going to find punishment or liberation over the oppressors. We don't see Jesus going after the Romans very much at all. That's not the issue to him. The issue is the parables. The issue is the internal people, actually, the Pharisees, the Sadducees, and the scribes that are corrupting the telos. They're corrupting the gospel of Jesus Christ. They're corrupting for them at the time the law of Moses, right? Away from the idea of growth and learning and becoming more like the Savior. So this is something that that we need to keep in mind. The lie is the inversion of the values hierarchy. It, It is the inversion of the purpose of mankind. It is the purpose of mortality that completely changes. So you can ask yourself, Does this movement, does this ideology 
remove faith and repentance from the individual and put it on somebody else. And if it does, there should be alarm sounds and, and red flags that go up everywhere. And we'll put this a little bit more into uh, um, uh, written verbiage on this cheat sheet. So what we'll have here on that social justice page are PDFs and uh, that you can download or, or web pages there that will go over these principles. This is one of many. Talos versus the oppressors. What is the purpose of mortality? And what is the goal of God? What is his purpose? And where does the problem lie? Look for that on quickmedia.com tomorrow. Thank you.